Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a PHP video tutorial for the new Boston. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to be slightly advancing on the last part of looking at simple XML. And this time we're going to deal with what happens if we have child um, elements inside of our XML document. So at the moment, our XML document looks like this. We have uh, currently four producers. However, what happens if we want to add some further information about these producers and I don't mean further information about credentials like their name or their age and let's just delete these two so we can uh, keep an eye on what's going on here so inside each producer I want to specify a show that they've both produced so for example here I'm going to say show and I'm going to end show now I'm going to provide some details about this show so show name um, a show and let's say show date show date and then let's give a date so let's say um, 12th December 2010 for example okay so now let's copy and paste this and put in another show so show name another show and let's change this to the 4th of July 2009 okay so now Alex has produced two shows with these credentials in here so we've got show name and show date um, but we've also maintained specific information about our producer so we're coming into sort of a database like structure where we've got the name and the age of our producer then we've got two different shows that they've produced so not only are we accessing each producer but we're now accessing data about each show that they've produced let's just add one for Billy so we can uh, use that as an example so inside here we want uh, let's just line these up show name better show and let's change the date to 2007 uh, keep it at July and we'll just change this to the um, 25th for example okay so now let's go back to our index.php page so we've already established that we've got a for each uh, uh, language construct uh, which is looping through each producer as a producer now what we can do is we can echo out these producers names by using this uh, structure so we've established that we can do that, we can put a line break. So let's go, uh, go back to our page and refresh, and you can see that we've got Alex and then a line break and Billy. So we've produced the names of our, um, of our, of our uh, producers. Now what we could even do is uh, incorporate the age. So let's, um, let's create some uh, brackets here. And then inside the brackets, I want to put their age, so producer age okay so what this is doing is it's um, giving us the producer name the the name tag inside each producer so we've got um, we've got Alex and age and then we've got um, sorry we've got Alex and then 21 and billion 16 uh, so that should gather the data for each one and then we can do a line break afterwards so let's refresh and see if that's worked okay yeah so we've now got the age in brackets Let's put just a space in there to make sure that's neat. So now underneath, what happens if I want to list each show? Now you might think that we could just say echo producer. Um, let's go back to our, our document, see what we've got. Um, then we could say show and then we could say show name well absolutely let's refresh and you can see a show under Alex however what this has done is it's oh let's put a line break so we can see what we're doing properly however we're only showing one show for one show for Alex and one show for Billy now Billy does have one show that's correct however Alex has two shows we've got a show uh, let's go back got a show and another show and Billy has just got his one show better show 
So what do we do in this case? Well, all we need to do is we need to create another for each statement inside hip here. But this time what we do is we say for each producer and then we say for each producer um, show, uh, no, what's it called? Yep, for each producer show as show. Now what we can do is we've taken each producer's show and we're now able to access elements inside this or our tags inside of this. So now let's echo out show. Remember we, we're using the variable that we created here and then we can say show name for example and then we can um, say put a space on and or say on um, and then we can say show show date so we're accessing this specific information that's relative in our loop to each um, producer so let's refresh and see what data we get back we'll just create a line break there first of all let's refresh um, now what you can see that's happened is we've because we've looped again for each show we've now accessed another um, another uh, tier or another, um, how can I explain, um, another dimension of our XML um, structure. So now what we've done is we've been able to return specific data on every show that this um, specific producer has produced. And therefore Billy always only has one um, because that's, um, he's only produced one show. So now with this example, you can do another for each loop if you wanted, and then another one inside that to access each element of this depending on the structure. So remember with XML, the structure is always gonna say the same, but the data is gonna vary. So for example, if we were to copy and paste this show here, and then change this to another show two, for example, on the 5th of July, you can now see that um, our page will update and put more data in it. So the structures remain the same, and as long as we adhere to the structure and exactly the same tag names, then our data is going to be updated, even if we're using multi-level data.